Welcome to Willpower Not Required, the podcast that gives you quick, easy, and effective tips that you can use today to improve your health and help you live your life to the fittest. No willpower or white knuckling required. I'm your host, Lauren Whitfield. Let's get started. Today's tip is to use peer pressure for good. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, peer pressure is defined as the pressure that you feel to behave in a certain way because your friends or people in your group expect it. We associate this most often with the negative influences from peers during the teenage years. It is, however, an aspect of our lives throughout our lives. Peer pressure can influence us to act in negative ways that keep us stuck and repeating unhealthy behaviors. It can also be a positive influence in our lives and can help us make better choices for ourselves. They say you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So the people we surround ourselves with are the biggest influence on our behavior, attitudes, and results. Who you are around, what they've got you thinking, saying, doing, and becoming can make the difference between you achieving a fitness or weight loss goal or staying stuck in the hamster wheel on and off the latest diet or trend. So how do we use peer pressure for good? How can you harness it to help you live a healthier life? Well, here are a few ideas. Find a fitness buddy, someone who is on the same journey as you with the same or similar goals. Commit to each other to connect daily or weekly to work out together or just keep each other on track. It's extremely important that you find a buddy that will help hold you accountable and that you hold them accountable. Encourage each other, don't cancel on each other. Now this doesn't have to be someone who is physically in your life. You can find a workout buddy online and work out together via video conference. Uh, Group fitness classes can be full of positive peer pressure. It's inspiring and motivating to be surrounded by dedicated, like-minded individuals. It doesn't get much more empowering than a class with an encouraging instructor and supportive people all working hard together. I've seen it change many people's lives. Group fitness is a great way to help motivate yourself and others to dig deeper and push harder in your workouts. A personal trainer can be a source of motivation, education, and positive peer pressure. Finding a trainer who has been on a similar fitness or weight loss journey or really understands your current struggles can keep you moving in the right direction in a safe and effective way. Having someone in your life who is where you want to be can infect you with the behaviors and attitudes that helped them achieve their success, making it more likely that you will realize similar results in your life. We become like the people that we choose to expose ourselves to. It therefore follows that you can accelerate your personal growth in whatever direction you want by spending time with people who already are who you want to become. Now, you don't have to ditch your current friends and family. As I mentioned in episode three of the podcast, you can lead by example and become the positive peer pressure for them. So start looking for people in your life who have the same goals as you or have reached the goals you want to achieve. Spend more time around people who bring you up and be the encouragement for people around you. Use the positive influences of peer pressure to help you create and sustain healthy habits and achieve your fitness and weight loss goals. Willpower not required. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you. So send me your tips, questions, or feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Fired Up Fitness Coaching or email me at willpowernotrequired at fireduppitness.ca. Thanks so much. I look forward to connecting with you.